<laughs> Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Let me put this to live chat. Ah, yay, I'm so happy it's the weekend. Get our weekly live stream. <laughs> I'm being lazy today. I'm actually sitting on my day bed that's not really a day bed yet. <laughs> Because I've been working all day on organizing and stuff and doing like the little, you know, detail kind of stuff, hanging up pictures and that sort of stuff. So how's everybody doing today? John, you're saying only seven miles walk today? <laughs> seven more miles than I walked today. You had other things you needed to do today. Um, I think that's pretty impressive, John, seven miles rather than 11. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so what's everybody up to today? It's been super rainy and cloudy here the last few days. We were so lucky we had like three weeks of sunshine here, which is pretty rare, I think, this time of year. And, but now it's back to the rain. Hi, Glenda. Happy Saturday. Hi. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is sort of a new background here. I want to have it be a different background every time we're on. Hi, Todd. Happy Saturday to you. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Anita. Hi. Happy Saturday. <laughs> yeah, so tell me what everybody's doing this weekend. It's probably warm and sunny in some places. I miss, like warm weather not warm like in the 90s i would say maybe for me good weather is like 65 degrees i feel like what do you think i am so over like 100 degree weather 90 95 100 degree weather when i lived in sacramento um you know we would have summers like that and it was just horrible so hi carla hello yeah, so now I'm all about the like 60s. When uh, Louie and I were here for our first summer a couple years ago, I had, you know, we hadn't adjusted yet to the just the temperatures and stuff, you know. And so I wore a jacket and a scarf like all summer long. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever done that. But now I'm like, it's funny how we acclimate, isn't it, to weather and temperatures and things like that. Hi, Angie. Hello. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I was so happy yesterday thinking about oh, today being Saturday. I uh, had a really busy week. Oh, you've got beautiful weather in Las Vegas, Glenda, in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, that's nice weather. Yeah, me too. 70s, I can deal with 70s. Definitely been really rainy. You live in Ohio, right? Um, is it Ohio or Iowa that you live in, Anita? You have a few more dry days than more rain. I guess that's spring showers, right? 70s in DC. So it's getting pretty mild in places. Todd, you recently moved from Massachusetts to North Carolina and now the 60s are cold to you. <laughs> it's amazing how in different regions of the country, it feels so different because I feel like 50, like 55, 56 degrees here in Southeast Alaska is cold in Sacramento, uh, which is so funny because I don't know why you live in. OK, in Ohio. Yeah, I thought you lived in Ohio. <laughs> what? It's going to rain again, Angie, where you are in Southern California. I'm guessing California is out of their drought now. When I first moved to California, I moved, I, so I lived in Northern California and I, uh, let's see, we moved there in 2003. And when we first moved there, it rained. I mean, rain was normal in the winter time. It would rain for months and months. And I just remember thinking like, will it ever stop raining? And I don't know. And then it stopped raining like period. So, but now it's back to the rain, which is awesome. Really good for that region. So yeah, plant, things are starting to bloom here too. Oh my gosh, you all, my Thanksgiving uh, cactus is blooming. I'll show you all in the video tomorrow because if I get up, my whole setup's gonna fall apart. 
<laughs> so, and it is not a pretty picture watching me get up off of the floor. It's becoming, it's become quite challenging getting up off of floor level, <laughs> which is kind of annoying. Just proof that I need to do some exercise. So I've been working and tinkering around here all day. Angie, uh, Angie, I hung up the photos you gave me. Angie gave me a housewarming with some uh, photos that she took, some beautiful photos. That's going to be in the video tomorrow, too. So I hung those up. She gave me frames, too, for them. Um, yeah, and I just kind of, you know, little things. No heavy lifting or anything like that. Yeah, you're going to love them, Angie. I'm so excited for you to see them. They look, they look really, really good. It's a series of sunflowers, you all that she took and in black frames and they look really really good i put them i, I don't i want it to be a surprise you'll have to watch tomorrow's video so you can see where they are at <laughs> so did any of you try the see the video for the um berry bars and have any of you tried them you uh anita you're saying you love what i did with the baskets yeah and the wrapping of the boxes I did more of that today too, so you'll see that in tomorrow's video. I'm just excited about, I'm mostly unpacked. Um, the work that I did in here when I was setting up the studio in that video a couple days ago, I really got a lot done. I have quite a bit to take to storage. I'm like, gosh, I have so much stuff in storage now. So one of my projects is going to be uh, organizing storage because it's kind of getting ridiculous now. So I'm going to do that. but. Yeah, it's starting to come together. I'm finding little places here and there. So, Todd, you saw the berry bar video, but you haven't tried them yet. Oh, you made the date ball recipe. Good. Oh, you know what? I forgot to uh, post that recipe, didn't I? But did you find one? Good. I'm glad that you tried them. And that, yeah, those are so good. And they're so healthy using dates. I've really started thinking you found it. Good. Good. I'm glad. Um, I have started replacing sugar a lot now, or most sugar with dates because dates are such an amazing sweetener. And I'm trying to remember somebody sent me on Instagram. I think it was on Instagram, a, um, a video about doing, making dates kind of like a sweetener where you can like, I think they put them, you put them in the blender with water and stuff like that and kind of make it more smooth, you know, and more like, I, I don't know, like maple syrupy kind of. And that's such a great way of, of sweetening things naturally. So I'm trying to do that. I've been um, intermittent fasting now for, this is my third week. And uh, over, so I weigh in every Wednesday and if you haven't checked out my new Instagram account, it's called The Perry uh, Perspective, uh, you should check it out. I'll, I'll leave it in the description, the link. But I weighed in, I've lost nine and a half pounds, which I'm so proud of, very excited about that. And I'm just finding intermittent fasting, I don't know, it's just, I really think that what helped was my first, so I started trying to do some intermittent fasting like the week that I was kind of like okay I got to get serious and I just couldn't do it and then um my friend Betty introduced me to Mindy Peltz Dr. Mindy Peltz which I've talked about on here before but as soon as I started watching her videos I got so much inspiration because knowledge is power right and so I started um with a longer fast and I feel like the longer fast really helped me to like break that the sugar cravings and things like that and ever since then it's been i've been so i've been fasting anywhere from i don't know 16 hours to 36 hours over the last few weeks so i'm looking forward to losing a lot more weight because i need to lose a total of 60 pounds so thank you angie yay i know i'm so excited and i'm feeling more energetic I do need to start exercising, though, because I just am really feeling like achy and all of that, you know, uh, because I don't stretch and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm super excited and I, um, you know, I'm looking at it not as I've always had like diet, you know, who, who likes a diet? Nobody likes diet. So I don't know. She's just so, so informational. Dr. Mindy Peltz, if you haven't heard of her. 
and she wrote a book called uh, Fast Like a Girl. So, hi, Andrea. Hi. Okay, you'll just pop on for a little bit. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so nice of all of you to be here. So tell me what you're doing this weekend. I want to know what you all are up to. I know John said that he walked seven miles today, which is amazing. Uh, I really would like to find a place. I don't know. It's just so hard when it's dreary and rainy out, you know. Hi, V. Happy Saturday. <laughs> so what I really want to focus on, I think, is definitely cooking more healthy stuff like those bars I feel like were that I made yesterday in yesterday's video were pretty healthy um I think if you're gluten-free I'd like to do more like gluten-free kind of stuff I'm not gluten-free I but I would like to do more just kind of experimenting with different kinds of stuff you know so I think that's going to be exciting to do in the next the coming months and yeah, so I'm trying to think of creative ways. And I've really also been trying to... Hi, Shantae. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I've been trying to really focus on not spending that mon much money on groceries because I am going to have to be spending a lot of money, like making this day bed and then doing the uh, island for the kitchen and things like that. So I did buy a piece of wood that if you saw that video where uh, a couple days ago where I finished organizing the creative studio, that shelf that I bought, that additional stuff shelf was like 20 bucks for that one piece of wood. I feel like that's a lot. Is that a lot, you guys? Oh, nice. Brent Kentrell 38, you just enjoyed the sun. Southeast Michigan. So that is Southeast. Are you near, near Grand Rapids? Um, and Todd, you went to the Biltmore, ooh, to see the tulips and the azaleas in bloom today. Nice. Oh, yeah, I'll bet that was beautiful. Hi, Betty. Hi there. Happy Saturday. I'm glad you're here. John, you've lost 40 pounds with only exercise, being walking, and changed what goes in your mouth. Yep. Gave up alcohol since last July, and that helps with food choices and portion control. Yeah, for sure. Well, I, yeah, I don't drink, and once I stopped drinking, that helped me to lose some weight for sure. Hi, Adventurous Spirit 66. Hello. Oh, Detroit. Okay. Yeah. Um, I have family in Grand Rapids. I have uh, three cousins. Well, no, I have two cousins in Grand Rapids. I have a cousin in, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it now. <laughs> that's terrible. But I have a cousin that's in between Grand Rapids and Ludington where my mom lives. My mom lives in Ludington. So I've been in Michigan, all throughout Michigan. And when I was still in the van, I stayed with my mom for a little bit. And then I drove up to in the into the Upper Peninsula. And that was really cool. It's so pretty up there. Yay, Saturday. Happy Saturday, Betty. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Yeah, so it sounds like you all are getting out and doing things. That's good. I have not been out today at all. Um, yesterday I went out for a little bit. I had to run some errands and things like that. So I was thinking of doing another Q&A, but I don't know, like a Q&A video. And I don't know if that's necessary. I don't know. What do you all think? Should I do a QA? and a Because I mean, I do answer questions here and we chat on here, but it sometimes it's nice to do like a formal Q&A, you know, and I haven't done one in a while. Yeah, up north Michigan is so beautiful. Michigan is a really, really beautiful state. Anita, you know folks in Grand Rapids? Yeah. Did a talk there at one of the colleges in 2019 for pandemics. Oh, so you've been to Grand Rapids. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I've been to Grand Rapids quite a bit. I want to go when I, so I'm supposed to go visit my mom in October. And when I do, I'd like to go to Ann Arbor. My mom and dad, uh, met at University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. And actually my cousin, my, my niece, Katie is going to, I think she might be going there. No, her friend is going there. She's not going there. But I think my mom said she might be applying to get her doctorate there. So that would be kind of cool. 
It's pouring down rain in California. Yeah, it's been raining there a lot. It's crazy. So you're not really able to go out and do much. I know when it's raining, it's like not very fun to go out. <laughs> so yeah, a Q&A. So uh, yeah, I think I might do a Q&A because, um, you know, I've had some changes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, so that would be good. Glenda, Michigan's your home state. You grew up in Detroit and moved to Las Vegas 17 years ago. Yeah, I think I remember you telling me that. Yeah. No rain in San Diego today, just cloudy. I kind of feel like if it's going to be cloudy, it might as well rain. <laughs> Although then you can't really go out. At least you can go out when it's cloudy, right? And here it's not been, I don't know, it's just kind of, oh my gosh, yesterday though, the weather was so wild it it rained in the morning and then it snowed and rained at the same time and then it rained it's just so funny the weather so i don't know i kind of wished it i i enjoy the rain actually and uh because when we moved here when we decided to move here we knew that it was going to be you know that it's a rainy place it rains like 200 and something days out of the year and so sometimes if it's sunny for too long, I'll miss a good rainy day. Because, you know, you can be inside watching movies and cuddling up on the couch. Oh, yes, we are going to uh, Brent Cantrell 38. Angie and I are going to do a meetup this summer in June in mainland Alaska. So that's going to be really cool. We're both really looking forward to that. So, and I can't wait to go to Maine. I've never been to mainland Alaska, so that's going to be really cool. Yeah, it rains so much here, you all. It's, I think it's like 220 uh, inches of snow, uh, inches of snow, 220 days out of the year it rains, something like that. Uh, but I feel like nowadays, it's different you know i feel like every year is different because you never know what to expect nowadays yeah angie it's gonna be so nice i'm excited we're gonna see so many things gonna go on a on a um whale like a boat to see whales and we're gonna do a bunch of road trips it's only gonna be what is it six days i think it's like six days so thanks priscilla I'm all about the pink right now, as you can see. I got this uh, velvet top when I was in Oklahoma City. It's a, a velvet cardigan. I love velvet. <laughs> it's so cozy. Yeah, so this is my spring hair. And you see my little butterflies? I got little butterflies when I was there. I used to put these in Louie's hair when she was little. and But I love them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> I know I love whale watching. Well, I love looking for whales. I've never seen whales up close. I've never been like on a tour where like a whale watching tour. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. One time when Lady and I, when Lady was still alive, we were walking on this trail uh, that we really loved to be on by the beach. I've got a lot of that uh, footage in a lot of my videos because it's my favorite spot. Um, but we were walking just la 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 walking along and then I started hearing like whale spouting sounds, you know, like the <laughs> out of their blowholes and ah, I couldn't believe it. So I ran to a clearing and there were pods, two pods going by. It was the coolest thing. It was really cool. Yeah. Is seafood cheaper in Alaska? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the good thing about here is that if you know people who fish, they'll give you, you know, they'll give you fish. Um, but buying it is kind of expensive still. There's a place uh, in town that sells seafood um, and it's pretty expensive, but it's it's worth it. So I, I need to make more friends this summer that I can exchange baked goods for fish. <laughs> Now, what I want to do, not what I, sh I should say, what I intend on doing is fishing myself. So I've got a, Louie and I have gone fishing before, and um, I think she has a video of, of us fishing, <laughs> which is kind of a funny experience. Um, but I have not caught anything yet. So this summer, I plan on catching something. So, and what I really want to do is get some, uh, I'll be a resident 
actually, what is today? Today's the 13th. In three days, I will be uh, like an official resident where I will have been here 12 months consecutively. So I'll be able to get uh, resident like fishing permits and those kinds of things, which are much cheaper. And what I'd like to do is get some crab pots or shrimp pots and take them out and do some of that. That'd be really nice, but you need a boat for that. So you've watched whales from, oh, wow. 30 plus whales were hanging out there, Betty. That's wild. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, exactly, Angie. Yeah, we ex export most of the fish outside of uh, Alaska. So, you know, there are a lot of people who do fish for themselves, you know, and so I got to learn how to do that too. Because uh, the fish here, fishing here is really good, you all. Yeah, Angie, it would be cool if we went fishing while I was there. I don't know if we'll be able to fit it in because we got a lot of plans. But when you come to visit me, maybe we can do some fall fishing. I know that time went by so fast, Anita. Seriously, I've been so Alex and I got arrived on the ferry on the 16th of April last year. I cannot believe it's been almost a year. I've been so I was in next door in the studio for six months. And is that right? Seven months. It was seven months. And so I mean, that's just it's so wild how time flies. It really is. Got to do what you want to do because it'll the time is just going to go. Avila Beach, it's known for whales, but now the pier's been closed for seven years or more. Aw, so you can't go out there. So they've closed it like permanently. That's a bummer. Yeah. You did a tour of Seward and saw whales. Oh, you guys are getting me excited to see whales. I can't wait to see them up close, seriously. Like, I can't imagine how majestic they are. You know how you see them on um, all those nature shows and everything. But oh, I can't wait to see them live. But imagine doing, uh, like, kayaking or something. That is kind of one of my... Like, I love to kayak, and I actually would like to get a kayak. I would like to get one soon. But imagine being out in the water here, because that could totally happen, being out in the water here and then seeing a pod of whales go by. <laughs> I think I might pass out if that happened. Oh, my gosh. The pier shook loose. Oh, my gosh, because you said there were too, so many people on there. Wow. Oh, that's too bad. That's a shame, huh? Well, hopefully they'll build another pier. Yeah, there, I don't know, there are, there's quite a bit, I'm trying to think of, the, like there's the harbor here. We have several different, we have three different harbors here. Um, and, and there are some areas that you can kind of walk down on the water, but I don't think, you'll see sea lions, seals, you can see like fish and sea anemones and all of that. Uh, but I don't know if the whales will go by in that section, but that would be really cool. I would love to. Anyways, so <laughs> soon I will have whale footage for you all. Fingers crossed, right, Angie? <laughs> yeah, on YouTube, I've seen those too where people have, uh, they're in their kayaks and whales. Yeah, they'll come up or, I mean, have you seen the ones where people are like, this one guy was like picked up by a whale accidentally. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the whale was... It's hard to believe that a whale wouldn't have seen the kayak. I don't know. Maybe it was messing with him. Yeah, good thing you got off of there. Did It, it didn't collapse, though. Right, Betty? You want to visit Alaska? I think it depends on what you want to do. Um, like, where you want to go, you know? Um... I think that if you want like city stuff, then you could go to Anchorage, you know, but if you want like scenic type stuff, uh, I would recommend going to Southeast Alaska. Although Angie does tours and um, there are, I mean, there are so many beautiful places. It's hard. It's honestly really hard for me to say where, where you should go because I mean, by no means am I an expert on Alaska, 
but it just kind of depends. Like if you wanted to come like go fishing and do some boating and stuff like that, I would say Southeast Alaska. But if you wanted to do take like uh, tour road tours and things like that, then I would suggest uh, mainland Alaska. Yeah, kayaks and uh, whales are not compatible for sure. <laughs> yeah. That kayak, it might have been a Vila. Oh, I wonder. I'll have to go back and look and see. Yeah, that would be so terrifying. I don't know. That's my big fear. I would definitely, like, I've been, I've done kayaking, but I usually kayak, I've kayaked in lakes or, like, up creeks or streams um, or, like, smaller rivers. But there are people who kayak in the ocean, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. Okay, Betty. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, so I don't know. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to do the rest of the day. I'm going to relax a little. I've been kind of working on the apartment, and I've got to edit the video for tomorrow. And, y'all, I'm trying to get ahead in videos, and I'm having a really hard time. I'm trying to think of, uh, like, a formula to do for videos. I don't know. Do you all want more cooking videos? I've been doing more cooking kind of things, like food videos. But I don't know. I might, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out like, or are you enjoying just the day in the life of, I feel like I, it's kind of, is it overkill the uh, moving and getting settled videos? <laughs> I mean, it is my life. So it's kind of what's happening. So I think it'll be really cool once I start building furniture and doing stuff like that. That'll be really interesting. So I'm hoping that in the next week or so, I'm looking down because I'm looking at my mattress. I am hoping to start building my day bed. I wanted to order, so I was on Amazon, y'all, and because I was like, ugh, I really don't want to, I don't really want to build a day bed. And I was thinking just like money-wise, it might be cheaper just to buy a day bed because wood is kind of expensive here. But I can't get a, I can't get one shipped here because it's too big and bulky, which is kind of a bummer. So I guess I will be building a day bed, which is not the end of the world. So I do have some ideas that I'm thinking about. And I did, I bought a plant, a planter. I was talking about building a planter thing in front of the big window here in the living room, but I did end up buying one because it's just gonna be cheaper to do that. So it is wood and so that'll be really pretty. And yeah, so I've got some, you know, just kind of like smaller projects. And then I'm debating on whether I want to have a, like a work table. I'm thinking of building a, like a foldable work table in the studio because I do need like a stand up desk or like tabletop to be able to cut patterns and, and do certain things on. And so I think I'm going to do that soon so i don't know i think over the next couple months it'll be pretty interesting uh the projects that i've got coming up so yeah and then i'm looking forward to summer i just want it to get sunny for longer and a little bit warmer because still even though it's warm here it's still chilly so which is uh it's not you know i mean i can bundle up but i just want it to be a little bit warmer and then I'm going to be out doing things and I'm trying to figure out like what I want to do. So yeah, you're a nature lover. Well, I think anywhere in Alaska, I think it just depends. Like I would look up tours maybe, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend going on a, like a, spe a specified tour if you want to visit Alaska. Um, would you Angie? I just, because that way you you'll be with experts, you know, people who know Alaska. So I would just Google it you know, and, and see what tours are out there. Do I do draw? Yes, I do draw a design before I build. Um, yeah. And, you know, do all the measurements, like how, how high do I want it? Cause what I want to do with this day bed, I want to build a trundle bed under it. So when I have guests, they have somewhere to, um, to sleep also. Oh, and another thing, remember last week I was talking about the mattress, like smelling bad. So I called and they're going to send me a new one. They would not refund my money. They want to send me a new one. And I was like, well, what if I don't, what if it smells bad also? So, which is kind of annoying, but hopefully fingers crossed the new mattress will be good. 
And are we still planning on building on our land? No, that's not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately. <laughs> we need cash money, unless we win the lottery or something. <laughs> And Angie's saying it just depends on what you want to see and how you want to travel. Train, car, boat. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're visiting it or want to visit Alaska, yeah, just do your research and maybe have a, make a list of like, what do you want to do? What do you want to see? You know, because there's so much to see. And there's a lot of, I, there are kind of a lot of places in Alaska where you don't want to go unless you have a tour or a guide. So, yeah. Yeah, hopefully the mattress will be a good one. And so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's going to be coming. I'm just looking around at the projects that I need to do. <laughs> what brand of mattress? I I don't even know off the top of my head. It is a, it's just a foam mattress that I got off of Amazon. Um, I can't remember the brand of it. It's not like a super expensive one. It's like an eight inch uh, foam mattress. You know, the ones that come rolled up in the box. It always amazes me when they come in the mail. And I remember the first one that I got, I couldn't believe it because it was like, <laughs> it was this big old, I think it was maybe like a queen size mattress in a box, which is just incredible. So I feel like foam mattresses are the way to go i i mean this one's like firm it really i mean it's just right like my back feels comf you know i feel very comfortable on it which is nice so on the other bed i was on uh like a normal traditional mattress and uh had a a foam pad but the foam pad was too soft and so i frequently woke up and with a backache which is never fun so yeah, so I got a lot of building plans, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> so what are you all doing tomorrow? Do you have plans for tomorrow? Tomorrow is the 14th of April. I'm thinking there aren't any um, real holidays coming up anytime soon. Mother's Day is next month. Which, do you all do special things for Mother's Day? I'm going to be here all by myself, y'all, with no kids. Which makes me sad. Is there a lumber yard that has cheap scraps? Um, I don't know if they have scraps here. We do have a lumber yard. Our hardware store um, here has a lumber yard, you know, lumber section. Uh, but I don't know if they have scraps or not. I would imagine they probably don't have scraps, but you never know, I should ask. Um, another thing is there are so many people here who build things and do different things. And so if I ever, needed i probably could even put on facebook you know hey does anybody have any like larger scraps to get rid of you know so and i still need to clear out the rest of maribel which i've been kind of putting off so yeah the it's so funny because i didn't even realize that our hardware store here had lumber until very recently i bought some trim to do Oh, I bought some trim when I was building my desk when I was in the other apartment and went and asked them and come to find out they have a lumber yard. So that's great to know. And there is another like lumber yardy kind of hardware store that has, I don't know, I, I don't really like the people there are not very friendly, so I don't like going there. So I'd rather go where people are friendly if I'm going to spend my money. <laughs> So are you all like that? I'm not, I'm all about customer service. You got to give me good customer service if I'm going to uh, spend my money in your place. Also, that's the hard thing about here is that there's not a lot of competition. So, you know, it's that kind of sucks. Uh, do I plan on keeping the van? Heck yeah. I'm always going to have Maribel as long as I can. And... I definitely don't have any plans to travel full time in the van. Uh, I am definitely once I like once I get rid of everything in the van, I'm going to. I still want to camp in her. You know, I'm still going to take her up to national forest roads and to campgrounds and stuff here. Um, so. I'll still hang out in her because I love my Maribel. <laughs> what I really would like to do is travel 
internationally. Um, but I'm not able to do that right now because my client, I, I have one client who is local and so I have to be here. But I can, I mean, like I can, I can travel, but I just can't travel like full time. What made me decide to live in Alaska? Lack of pe there's no, hardly any people here. <laughs> when Louie and I were traveling full time in our vans, we had been traveling for maybe a year at that point. And we were just so tired of going to like national parks and just like nature trails and things like that. And there were always so many people everywhere all the time. And um, we were just like, well, where can we go? We should buy some land. We just started contemplating like, well, what do we want to do? Where do we want to put some roots down, you know? And so we just started researching and found Southeast Alaska. We were like, oh, we should move to Alaska just kind of randomly. And then we started researching and found this region, Southeast Alaska, which we never knew existed until then. So that's the main, and nature, obviously, being, you know, being in more nature. And actually, I would say another thing would be uh, like forest fires. It was really starting to get very scary being on the road. Uh, and like camping out in forests and things like that because of all of the forest fires that was really starting to get scary. Hi, Cesar Kale. Hi, I'm glad you're here. You stop going to stores where the store. Yes. Why would we do that? Right. I'm just I'm not going to spend money in a place where I don't feel appreciated. I mean, it's nice when you have uh, options, though. So we have two grocery stores here on the island. Uh, and fortunately, the people in both of them are very friendly. Thank goodness. Um, and we do have kind of like a smaller store that sells sort of like bulk items and stuff. I rarely go in there. I often forget to go in there because I don't really buy stuff in bulk. I don't have a need to do that. Um, but and even in our hardware store, they're very nice there. And most of the restaurants, you know, the few handful of restaurants, um, they're very friendly. So you love that flat land with flowers where we were camped at. Oh yeah. When I had both lady and William, that was in, um, I believe that was in either Montana or Wyoming. I'm pretty sure that was in Montana. That was really nice. Oh. Wasn't that beautiful? Those purple, all those purple and yellow flowers, like till your eye could see. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a Trader Joe's. I wish we did. Oh, that would be the dream. Love Trader Joe's. When they're rude, just say anywho. Yeah. I mean, I usually kind of, I, you know, I brush it off because a lot of times people aren't rude because it's, it's not directed to you. It's because they've got something going on in their life. And so I do try to tell my, remind myself of that, you know, that it's not personal. Who knows what's happening with them, you know? So, and that helps. Yeah, that was really a beautiful place, Betty. It was. Yeah. And Julie, you're leaving your job in two years to work for yourself and incorporate travel. Definitely. I always recommend that. <laughs> How did I manage my business while traveling in the van? Did I work every day? Um, yeah. So when I first started traveling in the van, I was working pretty much full time and I worked every day. And that was something that caused a lot of tension between Louie and I because I like I seriously worked seven days a week <laughs> and I just didn't have I hadn't found that work-life balance yet you know and then she and then she made me help me to realize like I need to at least take weekends off so I started working only Monday to Friday and so over the years I've had kind of like an ebb and flow with clients and so at that point I think I had like four or five clients so I was working a lot um, and now I have, I'm down to two clients. I have three now. I just got another client. Thank goodness. And so I, I just, yeah, I mean, it was hard. It was definitely challenging being in the van because a lot of times we would be out, you know, in a uh, kind of deeper nature. And so service was a big deal. It was stressful. I'm not going to lie. It, it can be stressful traveling and working full time. So 
Um, it just depends on what kind of travel you want to do, though. You know, if you want to do like international travel and you're going to be staying in Airbnbs and, you know, hostels and hotels and places like that, then you can very easily do it. So I definitely re recommend working for yourself if you can. I love it. So uh, why do most people seem to love Trader Joe's? What's that about? <laughs> um, Susan Kale is from South Africa. So you, I'm guessing you don't have Trader Joe's there. <laughs> Trader Joe's is a small supermarket that has kind of like specialty items. And it's, they just have like, specific items that people I think really enjoy and so and they're pretty very reasonably priced also and I so I think that's the attraction is really the prices it's hard when you're self-employed to take weekends yes you really need to Anita yeah because for me now I don't work on weekends I just don't work I just my clients know I'm Monday to Friday and I don't work on weekends and I don't make exceptions unless it's like an emergency like say a client's going to travel somewhere and we need to finish a project before they leave or something like that then i will but once you start making those exceptions then clients will be like oh well you worked last weekend why don't you work this weekend so nope that's like a really hard no for me that's a boundary so yeah yeah, I definitely don't work on weekends. Not going to do that. And Beck, you're saying your new job's going to be split, a split week? What does that mean? Is that like just part, so part of the week? Because you're working at a, um, I'd like to more, know more about that offline, Beck, what you're doing. Because you said you're up at a cabin. Are you like the caretaker? Or I'd like to know more about that. Oh, uh, you've been gone for a while. You hope all is well with my mom. And will she visit me in Alaska? Oh, uh, my mom's doing great. She is actually in um, visiting in the Virgin Islands right now. She's visiting my brother and his family and all her friends down there. Uh, I'm from the Virgin Islands. So that's her home, basically. And so she will be coming here. We're hoping in July she'll be coming for a visit. So I'm happy to say that she is doing well. <laughs> Thank you for asking. I, what type of work do I do? I am a virtual assistant. So I, um, I basically, I do bookkeeping. I do a lot of like office management kind of stuff, um, administration kind of stuff. So I, I do a lot of, a lot of everything. <laughs> so anything having to do with like administrative kind of stuff, that's what I do. Uh, plus bookkeeping. Uh, which I seem to get, I, most of my clients are bookkeeping clients. Well, two of them, two out of three of them. So you work Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday work. Oh, okay. Split. Okay. Caregiver for an elderly couple. That's cool. Yeah. And you said you start Monday, right? Beck? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you can be out in nature. Is it a cabin out in nature? There are so many, one thing that I found like more recently, like when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So like how I decided I wanted to be a virtual assistant. I was working like 60 hours a week, um, sometimes almost 70 hours a week. I was doing um, like 29 hours a week. I was a, per, a stylist for Stitch Fix. Have any of you heard of Stitch Fix? Uh, and then I was also a assistant community manager and I hated both jobs, <laughs> you know, and I just, I knew that I wanted to travel. And so I was trying to figure out like, what do I want to do? And I just started like Googling things, you know, and how, how can I like, how can I travel? I don't know, all different ways. How can I travel and work, you know? things I can do virtually and virtual assistant came up and mind you, this was like five years ago, uh, before the pandemic and all of that stuff. And I had never heard of a virtual assistant before. And I was like, Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Like I am, I was born for this. Like everything that I, all of the work that I had done before then was for this job. <laughs> and so 
I just made up my mind. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this thing. And both of my kids, like Louie was already, you know, on her own. Alex was getting ready to graduate from high school. And he had plans on going to college and everything before the pandemic. Uh, and so I just did it. And it's funny because the one of the owners of the property that I, uh, you know, was assistant community manager at, he was my first client. And then I just started getting referrals. Like he referred me to another person and then it just, it's, it's amazing. It's like, I don't know. It's amazing how word of mouth works. Anita, you're saying if I go to Ann Arbor in October, maybe Bella and I could, Oh, that would be awesome. It's only two and a half hours away. Well, definitely. I will definitely make that work because that would be so cool to meet up. You work two days and then you're off Wednesdays, then work two more days off weekends. Yeah, that's nice. So it's a beautiful mountain town an hour away from, you won't go hiking though, you're bear scared. Yeah, you should be scared of bears. <laughs> Not gonna lie, bears are scary. But you could, you know, do you have a dog? If you don't have a dog, I don't think you have a dog, right? Um, I feel weird now that I don't have a dog, it's going to be an adjustment like walking on trails and stuff this summer because when you have a dog there's just i mean i would always i always take bear spray with me also but having a dog is just a different kind of protection because they're so aware of their surroundings and you know most other animals they don't want to have a an encounter with a dog so i don't know i might have to borrow people's dogs to go on trails because it's kind of nerve-wracking so my neighbor up here uh, said I could borrow his dog. His name, his dog's name is Jack and he's so cute. I don't know if he'll go anywhere with me though because he's kind of like a not very trusting dog. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. I think he does like me though, this dog because whenever I go, whenever his uh, dad and I are chatting, he'll, he'll like, I don't know, start becoming like playful. Like, I don't know, he's really cute. So we'll see. I might have to borrow somebody's dog. You can also use bear bells. Yeah, that's I've heard of those. I've never used those before. I've always just used the spray. What? The owners get a bear at their house, so you're ready. You're afraid to. Oh. They say dogs. I don't think dogs trigger bears. Maybe if a dog is like chasing a bear i don't know i mean i'm not a bear expert so um i just know that i hope to never meet a bear on a trail <laughs> right because that is like the most terrifying thing to think about but even scarier is honestly meeting a moose on a trail or like a moose out in nature because moose are freaking huge and scary have i been able to create a community here Yes, I have. I've made several friends and do things with them, which is really nice. And now that I've been here, so, you know, longer, like when I go out into town, you know, you see familiar faces and people say hello. And it's just, it's really, it's a nice feeling. And will I do winter in Alaska? Oh, yeah, I, I've spent two winters here. Uh, and yeah, and I, I love winter here. It's our for my first winter here. Louie and I were here together, and it was like the biggest winter like of snow that we've had in that they've had here in I don't know like decades or something. We got like 125 inches of snow the first winter we were here. It was amazing. It was so cool. It was like this is why we moved to Alaska. <laughs> but this year we didn't have very much snow. We had like two snow dumps and then it was like really warm and so it was kind of it was pretty mild here. Yeah. So I don't plan on spending any significant time in the lower 48 um you know this is my home this is where i want to be and i mean i'll travel and you know i'll visit my mom and like i'll visit alex and stuff like that but i um my days of traveling and spending like significant amounts of time down there are uh, far and few between so 
You were on the trail with your hubby and two pits when you were approached by coyotes. Ooh, that's scary. Your dogs are 120 pounds and protective. Oh, yeah. So they size you up and fled. Yeah, they were like, mm, this isn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the only thing I miss about my lady is she was really... She was really very protective. Like, she's so funny because she was, like, the sweetest dog. She loved people so much. She loved people more than she liked dogs. And so, I don't think she... I don't know if she would ever fight something for me, though. But, I don't know. It was just nice having her there. And she was always very, you know, obviously very aware of her surroundings, our surroundings. So, I don't know. I've been missing her a lot lately. I had a dream about her the other night. I actually... In my dream, I couldn't find her. It was like we were, Alex and I were in some weird, like, neighborhood that was unfamiliar. And I just, somebody had taken her and I could not find her. And I was just searching and searching and searching. My whole dream, I was searching for her. <laughs> so I think that's because I miss her a lot. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Happy Saturday. Welcome. <laughs> I seem more relaxed now that I've settled into an apartment. Yes, I'm definitely more relaxed. I just feel more at peace. And I think it's because I can spread out, you know. Also, another thing, living in a van or a vehicle and like being nomadic, that's really challenging is it's like you have to search out all of your, just your everyday needs. So, uh, you know, showering and finding a place to park where it's safe and just all of the things that you don't have to think about when you have an apartment or a house it can be exhausting after a while you know and I think that's what happened to me like I loved being nomadic and living on the road until I didn't <laughs> and then I knew it was like I knew when it was time when it was over you know when it was time for me to move on hi Kelly <laughs> happy Saturday Yeah, I watch old videos to see Lady. Oh, yeah, you should. She's in all of my videos, really. From, um, trying to think. Well, from the time she's not in this series of videos, though, the 365 days of Alaskan living, because she, um, in January, she wasn't with me in January anymore, so. Yeah, for real. Dogs are protective. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I think, like I said, I think I'm going to borrow some neighbor dogs. <laughs> my neighbor up a couple houses, she just got this really cute little puppy. And seeing her having to deal with this puppy and the puppy energy, I'm like, eh, I'm good. I think the sun is shining. It's raining. Look at that sun coming in. <laughs> it's still... Excuse me, it's still raining a little bit, though. You camp at RV parks because you don't like searching for water dump stations. Yeah, yeah. Do you have an RV Is it, or do you have a van? Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Van life is wonderful. Nomadic living is, it's wonderful. But I think I've just passed that. It's a new, it's time for a new era Angie and I have been talking about that a lot lately. New eras, right, Angie? Um, it's just sometimes it's time for something new. So now I really, what I would really love to do, like I said earlier, I want to travel internationally. So, and just stay in, you know, Airbnbs and hotels and things like that. Yeah, puppy energy is, mm -mm. I'm good. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I got auntie energy and like grandma energy. Maybe not so much. I feel like auntie energy because saying grandma is, is kind of weird. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm old enough to be a grandma. I guess I am. But so, but I'm, yeah, I'm all about that auntie energy. Like you go home. I, we've had fun. All right. We're good. <laughs> yeah. Bella is your uh, car alarm, right? Anita. So she'll be good. Except for when you're trying to be stealth in your van and you're like, lady used to do that we'd park and if somebody would get too close to the van or like she would hear noises out there she would start barking and it would be like no be quiet like if we're parked on you know a, a city street or something in a neighborhood <laughs> that would drive me crazy 
Alaska has grizzlies. They're predators, so get bear. Oh, I have bear spray. Yeah, and we don't have grizzly bears. We have brown bears. So there's a little bit. There's a little bit of a difference there. Oh, you have a teardrop. Yeah, those are cool. And self-contained, so you've got like the bathroom and all of that. That's cool. So you can take that anywhere. Yes, the beginning of new things, Angie. If you all have not yet, you really have to check out Angie's channel, Angel's Excursions. Um, I'm hoping that most of you have been over there because her channel is really good. She is um, a landscape photographer and she does vlogs and talks about photography and nature and she's her videos are really incredible. So don't miss out. <laughs> And she posts new videos every Sunday, so there'll be a new one up tomorrow. Hostels, yeah. They're, I think it depends for me on, I've, I've stayed in hostels. Have I stayed in hostels? I don't know if I've ever stayed in a hostel. I don't know. For me, it just depends on the hostel. So, because I, I don't know. I just feel like the kind of travel I want to do nowadays is a little more luxurious. Like I don't want to shoestring it anymore. I've done shoestring. Like that's what I've done my whole life is shoestring travel. And so I kind of want to do it a little bit differently now. So we'll see though. There are so many hostels. Um, I agree. And you can also, another great thing about hostels is you meet other travelers, right? Like you meet people from all around the world and it's a great way to make friends and things like that. So yeah, thank you, Julie. I hope I get to travel internationally soon too. Good. And Anita, you follow her. Yes, Betty, you do. Good. Yeah. All of you've got to go over there, subscribe, watch her videos because you're missing out if you don't. So yeah, you haven't either, Angie? Yeah, I don't think I've ever stayed in a, in a hostel. When I was in Iceland, that, that was in a hostel, though. There, I don't think. It was like a, a micro hotel, which was really cool. Maybe that was a hostel. They had these cute little pods that you stay in. I've never done that before. That was really cool. Yes, I want to do Lux Travel. I feel like I'm going to be 50 next year. Like, I'm like, I want to do the, you know, just like I want to do, like, glamping now. <laughs> I'm not all, I mean, I will stay in a tent and things like that, but I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I'm too old for, like, shoestringing it. <laughs> bear bells alert the bear so that you don't surprise them. Yeah. Yeah. Cause especially when you're walking alone. Right. And I mean, I know there are certain trails where it's not recommended that you walk alone. And I mean, there are a lot of trails here where I remember when we first got here, we would, we were trying out all the tra trails, you know, we, there, there are like maybe a handful of main trails on the Island and we would see people just walk in by themselves, no bear spray, nothing. And we were like, what is up with these people? Aren't they afraid of bears? <laughs> but I guess they're not. But I will always carry bear spray with me for sure. Um, but it's definitely going to be an adjustment walking without lady. So, ooh, a nice yurt would be nice. Yeah, I agree. There are some uh, Airbnbs that are yurts. Your godson stayed in hostels when he traveled to Europe. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an affordable way. It makes it affordable, for sure. So, outside of Paris, neighborhood with other houses, really nice and cozy. Yeah. Um, Julie, you're saying you stayed at Christopher Inn in Europe. Thailand has a lot also. Yeah, I think that's for me is the single. It's the single I wouldn't want to share. I think that's probably my kind of like mm, about hostels is I really like to have my own space. So, but like you said, there are, I mean, there are a lot of options. So I don't know if, if you all could travel anywhere you wanted to go, where would you go? What's your number one on your list? For me, I would say right now, I really want to go to Argentina. Um, and Alex, my son, is the one who got me really wanting to do that. So I would love to travel to Argentina. Also, Alex and I would like to go to Mexico City together. Hello, Kelly Thompson. 
Hi, I'm glad you're here. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Spain, Ireland, New Zealand, or Antarctica. Spain, New Zealand. I'd like to go to New Zealand too. I'd go to any of those places. We all, we need to travel together, you all. New, a lot of New Zealands. Belize, heck yeah. Thailand, Rwanda, Botswana, Mexico. Oh, yeah. I need to make more money, y'all. We need to make money so we can go travel. And Spain, Angie, you've been to Spain. Yeah, Norway. Yeah, I'd like to go to all of those places. For real, Nor I'd really like to go to Norway, uh, Sweden, and um, Norway, Sweden, and uh, I'd like to go back to Amsterdam. I've been to Amsterdam before. Nothing too jungly. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Why? No jungles? You don't want to be around all of the things that want to kill you, like the spiders and the <laughs> all those things? <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Greece. Yeah, there's so many amazing places to travel. The world is so big, isn't it? I just would, yeah. I If I could, honestly, y'all, if I could, I would spend, like, I would stay here until maybe, like, well, now I'm in a year lease, so I'm not going anywhere for at least a year. But once that's up, I would definitely travel full time. I would definitely do that. <laughs> no, no jungles. Yep. That's one reason why I kind of am like, mm, would I ever visit Australia? Because there is like everything that lives in Australia just wants to kill you. Like the spiders, the there's like so many things there that are like scary. To tie back to Thailand, Kelly would like to go back to Thailand. Sweden. Yep. Yeah. Norway, Slovenia. I've never thought of going to Slovenia, Angie. There are a lot of like those smaller like European countries that are good to travel to because they're inexpensive because they're not popular, right? Um, you dreamt of being in Greece with a friend. The rental car was a huge old American Cadillac. <laughs> Maybe that means you got to go to Greece, Betty. Got to travel, a, uh, uh, plan a, a girl's trip. <laughs> Yes, a year does go by fast. I've been here almost a year. Three more days and I've been here a year and it does not feel like a year. It's so weird. Time is such a strange concept, isn't it? It just, I mean, it seriously feels like I just got here. And when I think about the last year and all that has happened, it's amazing what has happened in the last year. Yeah, Australia... Oh, yeah, no, it's Australia that has all the deadly things, not New Zealand. I would love to go to New Zealand uh, for sure. Yeah, Australia, I don't think I want to go to Australia. <laughs> I heard a lot of people there are racist, too. I don't know if that's true or not. Once you get to Europe, it's true. I agree. Yes, once you get there, it's so because all those countries are so close. Uh, Louie and I spent three weeks in Europe. We went there after she graduated from high school. We went to Amsterdam, Belgium, um, Paris. Uh, we were in Sweden for a while and we went to a small village in England. And it, I think we bought a ticket from Belgium to Paris for like $30, 30 euro or something like that. It was so cheap. It was incredible. It was a bus ticket and it didn't even take that long to get there. Did we take the bus? We might have flown. Actually, I think we flew and it wasn't that much. We took the bus, I think, from... Anyways, <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> yes, I think you should definitely go to Greece, Betty, for sure. Right? If she's dreaming about it, it's time. <laughs> yeah. Also, Zulima, there is so much to see in the U.S., for real. I mean... Honestly, if you have like a larger vehicle, you could totally just spend weekends traveling, you know, go on, on day trips or spend like, or you could rent something, you know, larger if you, if you can do that. But yeah, there's so much to see here. Your cousin lives in Australia, Kelly, and she loves it there. That's good. What part of Australia? 
because I think most people live like on the coast of uh, the continent, right? Is it on the east coast or the west coast? I think it's the east coast of the continent. Yeah, I have a friend who lived there um, for a while. Actually, her son was born there. Adventure OT. She hikes in New Zealand and you will love her. I'll have to check her out. Adventure OT. Yeah. Um, New Zealand. Yeah, they're, they have, I love the, Ma the Maori and their culture is so interesting and beautiful. Yeah. Ah, uh, so we've got to dream up our, our travel, uh, our travel adventures, you all, right? Can't forget about Ghana, Zimbabwe, Uganda. Yes. Yeah, I've only been, I've been to Kenya um, when I was pretty young. I was like 19. I spent a few months in Kenya, which was wonderful. Um, my mom though has been to Rwanda, Burundi, South Africa. Uh, I think though she's been to one more, but I can't remember the other country, but she's done, my mom has done a lot of international traveling. And so I think that's where my travel bug comes from. My mom is very adventurous. <laughs> You want someone to travel with you? I'm tired of traveling. I know, that gets kind of old, doesn't it? You know what you could do is meet up there. Are, have you ever heard of Trova trips? There are like influencers tend to do them. So if you know, like Louis is planning that one trip. I don't know if you've seen to the Canadian Rockies, but that's a great way to travel with people, uh, you know, that are of like mind. You know, they're, um, I'm not sure. I know there's another woman, her name is, um, oh, what is her name? I can't even remember. Something Media. She has like eight dogs. She does trauma trips a lot. Um, she's on Instagram mostly. Yeah. Am I going on Louise's excursion? No, I'm not going to be able to go, unfortunately. Uh, I'm hoping that she's going to be able to take her brother, Alex, though. But I don't know if they've talked about it or not. But she was talking about uh, taking him if she could. Hello, S. Tater Pugs. Hello. <laughs> oh, she's in Sydney. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about Australia, really. But that's cool that she likes it there, you know. Has she been there long? I, I don't know. I just... Uh, I just, yeah, oh, now I'm thinking about traveling. <laughs> I will be doing some traveling though soon. June, I'm going to go to Alaska to see Angie and up mainland Alaska. So, and I don't know, I'm thinking I need to do some travel throughout Southeast Alaska because I can hop on a ferry and, um, you know, get somewhere. The only thing is like the ferries only, tra they only go, so I'd have to spend a week somewhere because they only travel like, every week once a week oh thanks clara thank you this is my my spring hair <laughs> you lived in thailand for over four years oh wow so cheap, cheap so cheap to travel in southeast asia yeah that's definitely one of my goals is to get to i would love to go to thailand vietnam um that whole region yeah and the food more than anything, I want to go for the food <laughs> because their food is so incredible. Yeah, you're feeling the travel bug too. Me too. And I, is it maybe it's because it's like warming up, summer's coming, it's time to like dust off our feathers and get out there and fly, right? I feel like that's what it is. <laughs> How much of Alaska have I been to? Oh, not a lot. I've only been to, I've been to Juneau and i've been here i've been i've spent like a couple hours in ketchikan um and like i've flown through places like i've flown through anchorage and wrangell and so i've got a lot of traveling to do i want to get up to, to fairbanks i'd like to spend quite a bit of time in anchorage and so angie and i are gonna do some good sightseeing when i'm when i'm up there so that'll be fun Eight years. That's a long time to be over there. That's cool. So she's got her whole community over there in Australia and Sydney. That's cool. 
Antoinette Yvonne. Yeah, she does do travel groups. Yeah. To different places. Yeah. I haven't watched her channel in a while, but I do remember that, that she does those. I know. Yeah. Once it warms up, Betty, it's like now it's time to, it's time to travel. And, it, but yeah, it's raining and cold again, though. You're using your electric blanket, right? Really? Is that cold? Oh my goodness. I had my little uh, electric fireplace on here because it's still pretty chilly here. Yeah, Anchorage. I want to go to Anchorage. Talkeetna, Seward, Hope, Homer. Uh, there's so, you've been to a lot of places. There are so many places, yeah, not, that I have not been to. Do I have a Starlink? No, but that is on my wish list. I, I'm, I, by the end of summer, I'm going to have a Starlink because, uh, it is very inconvenient. I use my hotspot and it's becoming increasingly annoying because I run out of data, especially now that I upload videos every day. So, <laughs> um, so I definitely am going to get one. Oh yeah. I knew who you meant. Antoinette Yvonne. Yeah. She's living in Bangkok now. Yeah. See, I haven't watched her videos in a while. It's been a minute. Where did I get my fireplace? I got it on Amazon and I love it. Not going to lie. I, so once I first got it, I used it all the time and it was so cozy in the winter time. And then, and then the light for the fireplace thingy stopped working. And I was so disappointed. It was just the heater. And so I called them and they returned my money. And, and then all of a sudden, the fireplace light started working again. It was so weird. <laughs> so I got a fireplace for free, I guess, y'all. I didn't do that intentionally, but so that's my cute little cozy fireplace. 80 degrees where you're at. Oh, that sounds nice. You did some planting and yard work and pool time. That's definitely warm enough for pool time. I'll tell you, if it gets to be 80 degrees here in my area, people start, they're just like not happy at all because 80 degrees here is like 90 or 100 degrees <laughs> in other places. It's so warm. But I definitely understand 80 degrees is nice. Oh, she was sick. For a while oh goodness well good thing she's better you want to travel the u.s including alaska also canada yeah i'd like to spend more time in a lot in uh canada too the rockies and like where louis is she is all around the yukon and all that area is so beautiful and i would love to be there too yeah, love free stuff. Me too. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, but hey, that's their product that was defective. I don't know what happened, but for some reason it just turned on and I'm like, wow, this is crazy that it's working again. Okay, Anita. Yeah, we've been on here for a while. I should probably say go bye too. Bye, Julie. Aw, oh, thank you. Yes, I hope you do come back more often. 80 degrees in Florida. Now low is 52 degrees. Low 52 degrees is pretty cold, isn't that? For Florida, especially. You drove from Anchorage to Montgomery, Alabama. Wow. That's so far. I'll bet you saw so many amazing, beautiful things. So then you drove through, um, you drove through parts of Canada too. Yeah. Yeah. There's so much beautiful beauty to see in the world. <sighs> Now, now y'all, I have the travel bug again. I'm going to have to put it back in its little box and <laughs> cover it up and tuck it away for a little bit longer because I've got things I got to take care of before I can do any of that stuff. Oh, you did. Oh, thank you. Ah, it's a housewarming. Okay, bye, Cesar Kale. Bye. I probably should go too. Oh, time to go. All right. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go to thank you and thank you, S. Tater Pugs. I will check my mail. <laughs> Have a wonderful week, everybody. I will see you in more videos and I'll see you next weekend live. All right. Have a great rest of the weekend. You too. Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Glenda. Good. You should follow Angie. Bye, everybody.
<laughs> okay.